and I, I believe that it, it's um, a roadmap. And that roadmap, we need a roadmap to keep us clear on what our, our duty is and how we can ensure that our people who are working that aren't marginalized, that our people that are, and, and I'm talking all of the members of this, of this union, but specifically for those who are the vulnerable. And those vulnerable are Māori, they are also Pacifica, they are also the, um, the gender, and specifically women. And I think that we need to, this, uh, the treaty encompasses all those diversities. And it gives us a roadmap on how to afi, how to look after, to care for, <coughs> and to move into the future. As a, a nation, as a people, and as individuals. And that's important to me. Aye. And if, if Te Tiriti is indeed the terms and conditions by which my ancestors came to this country, as a, why would that stop when I'm at work and being a union member? It doesn't stop. Um, and yes, um, Te Tiriti is between hapu and the Crown, and a union is not a Crown agency, blessing. But it doesn't mean we can't embrace the learnings and the opportunity of that relationship and that covenant because there's lots to be gained by engaging deeply and thinking about those five elements of Te Tiriti. I mean, mm. imagine if, if the union movement could embrace wairua tanga and, you know, I think it because would be a better was, place. That's kind of magical, that yeah, one. Because that was part of, of the... Um, right. Uh, the the treaty. Ah, the corridor. At yeah, the, the end, corridor. Yeah. That they had to take care not only of the Kowai Roro, mm -hmm. but also the Kowai Runga. And the Kowai Runga was the spirituality, as opposed to, and that's the way you mm. as opposed to um, different uh, sects of, of um, religion. Aye. It was to ensure that we maintain that connection between the terrestrial and the celestial, you know, or the celestial. Bring it on. <laughs>